As the Pakistan Tariq Insaf continues its protests in Islamabad, Taliban has called Pakistan on how to maintain peace. It has also called for an urgent dialogue, while the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Taliban-led Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan has said that the best way to address the demands of the people is through dialogue. The spokesperson for the ministry has said that Afghanistan is actively monitoring the situation currently unfolding in Pakistan. Questions were also being raised about the sudden disappearance of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Chief Minister Ali Amin Gandapur. There were speculation that he may have been arrested by the police. However, he resurfaced during a session of the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Provincial Assembly on Sunday. The law and order situation in Islamabad remains precarious as supporters of Imran Khan tried to stage a protest at D Chalk and made the imposition of Section 144. Meanwhile, the Pakistani army continues to be deployed in the Twin Cities to ensure security ahead of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization's meeting. On Saturday, Pakistan's Interior Minister Mohsin Nafi said that over 80 police personnel were injured in clashes with supporters of Imran Khan taking part in the march. Nafi claimed that the convoy of Pakistan Tariq Insaf was heavily armed and the supporters of Imran Khan continuously fired on the unarmed police. The minister says more than 500 people have been arrested, adding that strict action will be taken against them. The army has sealed off Islamabad ahead of a series of top-level diplomatic events which are scheduled to take place over the next two weeks, including the SCO summit, which will also have India's Foreign Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar in attendance. Back, 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 back.